Hello, this is Saul Apeman, sitting president of Polish Pala Rifle University, and this video is about the altar trick. So first thing first, I want to show you why the altar trick is so cool versus Night Elf and it's good versus Undead. This is the game between Sonic and Lemmet, so it can be played on a really high level. I will tell you everything about the maps, about the new breakthrough from Polish Pala Rifle University. Yes, we are able to trap Magrura on uh, Hammerfall, we are able to trap Sasquatch on Springtime, a lot of new... Uh, important discoveries for Polish Pala Rifle University and I will hope that you Polish or from abroad Pala Rifle players you will lose, use this trick to your advantage. And why I like this trick so much? Because it counters those annoying Demon Hunter players that just like to harass you. Okay, so look, this Demon Hunter is going to just uh, exit from the altar he will just grab the item and he will continue his like <laughs> annoyance to, to basically go to Pala Rifle base almost immediately and harass, harass the poor Pala Rifle player. And the altar trick is very good at countering that because you are pulling the creep into your base, okay? So you are not that exposed to Demon Hunter harass, and if you are very afraid of the Demon Hunter timing, you can take two militia with you, but on this particular map, look at the timing. You got the item, and when the Demon Hunter arrives, you just go into safety of your base, and that's why I like the altar trick so much. The best altar pull, altar trick can be done on Hammerfall map. Because on Hammerfall, Hammerfall is a natural habitat of powerful, strong Magrura. And because of the altar trick, we'll be able to tame the Magrura. What you see on the screen is my re recreation of, uh, of this trick. And as you can see, we need to uh, leave one space between farm and altar. Basically, we can do it in this trick with trees, but then the, the, the pool is too close to the camp, so we'll take more damage. Now we are pulling the camp and we are letting Makrura to enter. And now the magic will happen. Look, that Makrura is not attacking me. Makrura is so stacked. And now I'm doing a trick, a dance. I'm opening a pathing for Makrura to escape and I'm closing it quite fast so Makrura doesn't know what to do. Wants to escape or wants to fight and I'm taking damage only from this like small water elemental looking thing and man, I'm creeping this camp without militia, without anything and look how little damage I took on my paladin. This is amazing. And we got the item. And for example, now we can just creep the small green camp for the second item. And I don't know. We can go for the middle. We can go for expansion cancellation. The world is your oyster. But taking zero damage from Makrura, man. And you do it in the safety on, of your base. You can even like block the entry with militia. So Demon Hunter can't join, and I think this is the most powerful trick that it can be done with the altar pool that was like a little bit unknown because even Professor Lemes was not making it. And this is the uh, example of not pulling Makrura. So you can think now, what is stronger, one Paladin, one Rifleman, or Makrura? As we can see, it's a close fight, but remember that Makrura is a powerful enemy, and man, without pulling... There is no way that we are going to defeat Magrura like that. So Paladin has no chance without the trick. And this is the summary of every map in Warcraft 3 Champions uh, map pool solo. And I tested every single one. So for example, Autumn Leaves doesn't have any interesting target because it has to be the melee target. And I did upgrade some tricks. For example, on Concealed Hill, the second map in the alphabetical order, I did some upgrades. For example, we don't like when uh, our altar trick pool is too close to the camp because we want to only take damage from the monster that we are trapping. So I 
uh, did some uh, testing and on this map, Concealed Hill, you can make Altar, Blacksmith, then one gap uh, space and Farm. So because of that, we can trap uh, Orc uh, Warrior. And uh, for example, as you can see on the top left, Troll Trapper is not attacking at all and sometimes Troll Berserker is attacking. So it really reduces the amount of damage that we are taking. And to show you the proof, of that, I'm doing the, this altar trick with the gap between altar and trees, altar, farm, uh, and blacksmith, and the, the usual base layout. And I think that the build order that I showed you before is much better because it doesn't uh, increase creeping time that much, but we really don't want to take that much damage, right? So look, of course you can you can pull the orc warrior to the trees, but the key difference is the troll trapper will attack all the time and the troll berserker will attack all the time. And even though we can grab the item, we will take like I don't know 50% more damage. And we don't want that. It's a small thing, but it's very too easy to make altar blacksmith and one gap at farm, so I think that my idea here is better, and it's written down on the uh, in the table that you uh, saw already. Next map, uh, Eco Isles, and on the Echo Isles, it's very simple because uh, the green camp is super far away, so we don't need to to uh, <laughs> change our base layout. The only problem with this map is that we have two troll trappers. So our rifleman has to go a little bit close to both of them to be basically like in their uh, range. So a rifleman won't be trapped immediately. And I think I'm showing here uh, my mistake because I wasn't in the range and I'm afraid that I, am, I may be trapped or no. Okay, so I was in the good range and look, one of them is not attacking. Second one is not attacking. Like the damage we are taking is very limited. This is what we like to see, and this is a very nice example of this small trick. And now we are in the safety of our base. <laughs> On last refuge, we can do something crazy. And by crazy, it's not like Makrula. I think Makrula trick is like meta-changing, it's playable, it should be played by every, every Pala Rifle player. What I'm showing you here is basically basically the example of how to manipulate a melee creep. But uh, it takes too much time to creep the Org Molar because I'm going to pull the Org Molar from the uh, lab. But there is like big problem. For example, uh, Org Molar doesn't uh, drop an item and it takes so long to creep him. And you need to have this specific base layout. So it's basically useless. I'm just going to show you the idea. And on uh, I will show you later on last refuge, you have like very easy creep anyway. So the idea basically is that you need to have like two doors to your base, okay? And you need to uh, <laughs> open one of the doors to basically bug the melee unit. So look, and I will make a lot of mistakes. We are pulling, okay? The, the big org mauler between uh, blacksmith and the farm. Now we are closing the door, we are attacking, and he wants to escape through another route. But I blocked the door with a peasant. <laughs> and now I, I was too, maybe not too slow, okay, and I, I'm attacking. And look, I'm not taking any, any damage because I'm opening. And now I made a mistake because, like, the pathing is broken and... I'm attacking Orc Moller too close to the lab, so we have a troll, <laughs> high troll priest now attacking me. But the Orc Moller is trapped, and yeah, it could be avoided. And look how long it takes to creep him, and uh, that's too long, that's useless. I I'm just showing you the, the concept of proof, right? That it can be done. Paladin is trying to attack... Uh, non-stop, a rifleman attacks from time to time, and I, I try to back him to not take any damage, and sometimes the creep from lab will aggro anyway, and <laughs> last hit from peasant, not really, and as you can see, there is no item, there is no like instant level 2, so it's not worth it, 
So now I will show you what to do on this map, and it's very simple. We have two troll trappers, right? But uh, the, the camp is far away, and you can build the altar close to the trees. Of course, we need to leave the one gap, and the rest of base layout is as usual, and it's a perfect camp to just grab the item. For example, you can just grab the item and creep shop with Militia. It's a very powerful level 2 creep with two items, so I really like it. But remember about the two trappers, maybe here I will be ensnared if I attack from like a long range, right? Oh, you, you see now I got ensnared because my, my rifleman wasn't uh, close enough. And yeah, now I will I will show you how to do it. Like basically you just come in a, like close, okay? To both of them you attack once and you immediately go back. And yes, I love the altar trick. I should use the altar trick more often. And it's a little bit tricky sometimes because like not all of the trees are uh, in the same distance from the altar. So basically you need to always make sure that, for example, there is a pathing for a like big unit between altar and trees. But practice makes perfect. And as you can see, I'm using a lot of cheat codes to, to speed up the process. So that's the best way to test things. And as a... Okay, so let's see how close I'm... Uh, look, now I'm very close to the camp, so it's like counterintuitive. But they are not going to ensnare me now. And I'm just like closing the surround. And look how little damage I will take from the troll trappers. They are AFK. They don't know to do because this trick is so powerful. And we are very happy that we got the item in the safety of our base. This is Northern Isles, and it's very easy to do the altar trick here because camp is very far away, so we can build the altar, farm, and then blacksmith. And you may uh, think that maybe it's even possible to pull the Ogre Magi from the Orange Camp, but I tested this. It's very hard to do. Org Magi doesn't follow easily. So, in my opinion, it's not worth it to even try. And in this particular camp, uh, make sure to attack the ogre, med uh, ogre Warrior, because sometimes did I did attack the Troll, it got blocked a little bit. But when you attack the Orc Magi, uh, the Orc Warrior, it works like a charm. And as you can see, the Creep is escaping, and we have 1v1 with, with the, the <laughs> melee unit that drops the item. We got the item, we are safe. Let's go to the next map. Next map is uh, Shallow Grave, and this one of uh, very few maps where we can do the Lightning Shield Creep, and Lightning Shield Creep is very good for Pala Rifle. For example, Lightning Shield Creep is not that good for Arch Archmage Footman, because you can creep so fast with Archmage and with Militia, so basically, uh, like the standard human players that are creeping it with like without the lightning shield trick and they make sure to get the lightning shield on Archmage only to avoid taking a lot of damage from like lightning shield on the creep. So uh, on this map what I recommend is to do the lightning shield trick. I will record a separate video about the lightning shield trick but the idea is to, to spout the lightning shield on a rifleman, put it in the middle of the camp. And to not deny, so to not kill the, the monster with, with the lightning shield, because the, 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 the unit that is casting the, the lightning shield is the creep. So experience go to the trip, and when you see this gray explanation <laughs> mark, it means that experience went to the to, to the creep, so there is no need to, to to do the altar trick on the shallow grave because it doesn't really work because the item uh, monster is is a range one, so it's not that easy to pull him in. Okay, this is springtime, and springtime is a beautiful map for the altar trick, because here we need to do something special. As we can see, we are building our gap between blacksmith and the farm, and uh, this is because there is no trees close to the camp, and we are going to pull the mammoth the, from the green camp, because even though he's only level 3 and there is like a troll, I mean a Tuscar Trapper there with level 4, the item is in uh, Mammoth. 
So if we are able to pull the mammoth, is uh, very, very, very good for us. So if we are afraid of fast demon hunter harass, just build your base layout like that. And as you can see, we can pull the mammoth. And the creep is not dealing the, the full uh, damage. And we got the item in the safety of our base. But there is something even better possible on the springtime. And as you can see, we can pull the Sasquatch from the Merkamp. Yes, I'm not kidding. And versus the sharp demon hunter timing, you know, pulling the Sasquatch may be uh, risky because we cannot really close our base because it requires uh, altar placement in a little bit more uh, specific location. But it's possible versus undead. I will do it versus undead. I, I can even consider doing it versus human, to be honest. Because it's very powerful. And we want to kill the critter to not get blocked. And look, I'm going through to pull from, from the bottom the entire camp. And what is really funny, there are two melee units and we will trap both of them. And because Sasquatch is kind of hard, you know, kind of strong, I will use Militia here. But I won't use Militia immediately. And look, Sasquatch is even blocked for a moment. And now I'm, I'm pu putting Militia on, on the Sasquatch. And now I'm changing aggro, as you can see, to not take too much damage on my Paladin. And still, the Wolf is blocked. Wolf is not attacking. Sasquatch is not attacking. I think it's a very nice pull. And we got a powerful item. Like, uh, we can drop a really powerful item. And man, I think the... I, I don't say that you can do it often, but like in every matchup, and it's not like Magrura that is universal even versus Demon Hunter, but it's very, very good and it's a thing to consider. And uh, now we are on Rune Mall. And on the rune mall, I have really bad news for you. First of all, the melee, melee mm, <laughs> unit that we are going to pull doesn't drop the item. And it's kind of far. And like benefit from the altar trick on this map is like very insignificant. It's very little, really small. So if you just pull the camp and clip it the normal way, it's okay. I'm just showing you that, that it's possible pull the mammoth but yeah it do it doesn't drop the item and you are creeping in in your safety of your base but you are still getting damage from the the tusker maybe not the full damage and i wanted to show you that even though uh, <laughs> the, the mammoth wasn't fully surrounded we can do like some dance like with magrura and we got the creep but there is no item and next we have Sharted Exile, and again on Sharted Exile the same information. The only melee creep that we can pull that is even worth pulling is from the lab, but it doesn't drop the item. And if we pull to the trees, uh, it's too close to the lab. So we need to do this Altar Blacksmith uh, farm, Gap Farm uh, build. Just in order to pull the roach that is like level 3, very easy to kill. So. It's similar to the Rune Mall. The benefit from this trick on this particular map is very little. So I do not really recommend that. It's not that necessary, like, for example, Makrura pool or basically any other pool. But I just want to show you that it's possible, you know. And yeah, Roach is surrounded. The camp is not dealing that much damage. But still, it took us some time to pull, you know, and out creep the other green camp. I think with just the just the paladin and and rifleman, with the, like the normal pulling, not trapping. So, in my opinion, this is suboptimal. And a new addition to Warcraft Three Champions map pool, Terrana Stand. It was removed a few seasons ago, and now it's back. And to my surprise, actually, you can pull the Sasquatch similarly to the from from the spring springtime. And for a moment, I thought that I discovered something interesting, because like the, on, on the shop location there is a big strong Sasquatch that we can uh, trap again and creep, and it's quite efficient to be to be honest. So let's see how how we can do it. We just attack. The, the creep and it follows nicely because only one melee unit there and we are going to trap the sasquatch 
just like that. And because we have full wall off, Sasquatch is bugged, as you can see, so we can dance with him a little bit, like with Magrura. So, like you may say, Soul, it's basically like another Magrura pool. Why you are not happy about, about this? And the answer is simple, because there is much better thing to do on Terrena stand. And this Sasquatch doesn't drop a good item. It, it drops just the... the the, the, the small uh, uh, charge item, because on 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 Terena stand it's much better to do the lightning shield trick. And even though I butchered the trick, look, if you creep the mercenary camp with the lightning shield trick, you know you will get instant level two. You will get two items, one of them really good, you know. So uh, yeah, I do not recommend. I do not recommend doing the altar trick. On Terena stand because if you want to creep, just creep the Merkam with the lightning shield. And I didn't do it well, but you know, I have two items and I will make a video about lightning shields basically. So I'll test it. <laughs> and these tight hunters, and you may say, so on tight hunters, you, you can pull maybe the Murloc, but as I will want to show you, the Murloc is so small, this flesh eater. That you cannot trap him because he's as small as a peasant, so it's not possible to pull anything interesting on tight hunters. If and if you pull rock bole, golem, it's possible to pull, pull the rock golem, but rock golem, when it's trapped, he's using spells, you know. So like rock, rock golem can basically kill your pa paladin if you trap it. So there is nothing basically to creep on tight hunters, and I wanted to show you. And of course, you can pull the sea giant, but it's also not worth it. It doesn't have any item. So just pull, pull the small green camp, don't trap it, just cre creep it very slowly. And the last but not least, uh, Twisted Meadows. And on Twisted Meadows, I want to show you that you can pull the Gnoll, uh, a big Gnoll for a green camp. And it's actually quite good, the Gnoll overs here. So uh, the camp is quite far, so there is no need to like change the layout of our base. We are going to pull the Gnoll, the Gnoll is trapped. And we are slowly creeping it, and it's like dealing like the fifty percent of the damage that would deal. Like in, in this one third of his life, he wasn't attacking, you know. And you can pull maybe one militia when your tank is ready. Maybe you got the second rifleman. Look, like he's not dealing the the full damage, so it's bugged. It's a good trick. I like it. And we got the item in the safety of our base, and the final look. On, on the table, so as we can see, we are only three really bad maps. On Autumn Leaves, really literally nothing to pull. On Gloom Stalker, similar to Tight Hunters. If you want to pull the, uh, if you want to pull the, the, the Murloc, the Murloc is too small, and the lab on Tight uh, on Gloom Stalker is too far. So like, you you just pull the the, the green camp, and yeah, you show Tight Hunters. And with this a green color is basically where you should always do it. So on concealed hill, a small camp, always do it. But remember to make altar uh, farm or even uh, altar blacksmith gap farm. So it's like in this column how to build layout. The orange color shows that you need to do something different than the, the good usual layout with trees. And... With purple color, I showed you that you can do something uh, different. So on springtime, you can creep two camps that are really worth it. And on last refuge, you can do two camps, but pulling orc molar is not worth it, in my opinion. And on shattered, uh, I mean, on Terena stand and on shallow grave, it's not worth it to pull. So it's in, in, in like this. Uh, uh, pinkish color because, like, uh, it's better to creep with lightning shield and on run, rune mole and shattered exile pool can be done, but it's not very beneficial for us. So, yes, I hope that I that you remember you understand the altar pool, you see it uh, strength, and it's now up to you to test it in your games because you need to feel confident with making the altar trick, and also you need to understand when to, to do it. For example, versus Orc that is harassing, Altar Trick is just too slow. You are just starting to creep, 
and on some maps, uh, Blade Master can last hit still the item or farts and can, can damage your paladin a lot. So yeah, take it into consideration. And yes, this topic was studied by me in full and Alta Trick has no secrets now. So good luck on your ladder. Uh, <laughs> adventure, and I'm excited to see, for example, Lemes doing, doing the Hammerfall Magrura pool, because I think it's really, really good. It was Sol Apeman, the sitting president of Polish Paralifle University. Make sure to subscribe my channel, because I will make some videos soon about Paralifle. And yeah, check my Twitch, Sol Apeman on Twitch as well, because I stream from time to time. Thank you for watching, happy Easter, and bye-bye.